Well, considering uh, Ragnaros does 8 damage, Tyrion does 6 damage, I don't think so. Because I, I had a Ash for, like, I had the Ashbringer charge anyways, it's not like if he dreamed the Tyrion I would not have the Ashbringer charge, I still had one charge from my old Ashbringer. With this deck I actually don't think we're keeping True Silver, I think we keep True Silver against Shaman but not Druid. Against Druid we actually want to have a chance of pressuring. Go for the sticky one drops. Can we have the score with the deck please? I mean I don't, well I can check what it is. It's, uh, Five and three right now. Reporting for duty. If you have this one, chew through Karen and save for Tyrion. It's hard. It's kind of hard, but maybe. The thing is, if you chew through Karen, that implies that it dies, so Nizoth still gets the value from Karen. Karen's not a half bad target for Nizoth either. Uh, I, I believe I like Blessing here because it leaves beyond a permanent threat over uh, True Silver. I have other buffs for my other eggs. Silver Moon Portal matching there very well for Egg. <laughs> wait, wait. Silver Moon Portal is a 4 drop, not a, not a 2 drop. So at that point, it's the same mana cost as Blessing of Kings and Keeper of Old Demand, uh, my other buff cards. For justice. I'm around 50% against Shaman. I think I'm 5 and 3 total, but my against Shaman, I'm, I believe I'm like 2 and 2. Because a lot of Shamans are running so much AoE now Maelstrom Portal and Lightning Storm. Hmm. Stuck sweet to AoE. <laughs> I mean, if Silver before was a 2 drop, it'd be completely broken. You summon a random 2 drop and you plus 2, plus 2 a minion. Uh, I, I guess we're still fine. That's not ideal, because we have to do something weird here. I guess Consecrate. If you had a 1 1 left over, you can just swing with the True Silver. Consecrate looks like it's better than something like Old Man here. Actually, that's not true, huh? Because Consecrate Swing, I only have like nothing left over. I just have like a Hero Power. Whereas it's the same thing, except the old with the Old Man, I get to have a 3 4 against 2 1 1s left over, which is stronger than 2 1 1s. Get to save the Consecrate. The other way to save the Old Man, I think saving Consecrate is more important uh, than saving Old Man. Because the Feast Plane Fandral, Mire Keeper, very likely a token druid. I mean, Old Man is good for my deck, but like Consecrate is even better in this matchup because I have to clear out tokens. Ancient War, I can deal with Ancient War as Faunus, kind of. Use Consecrate to clear out the weak minions and Solanus tries to ancient war. Okay, it's going to clear its full power out here. Why didn't Old Demand the Egg? Well, if you think about what happens, if I Old Demand the Runic Egg, all I'm doing is cycling it, and this is a hand where I have stuff to do. If I was like in top deck mode, maybe Old Demand the Egg and trade in the Egg and then True Silver Champion, but I'd rather just have the Egg on board than a card in my hand. If all I want to do is like cycle, uh, could just run like Knowledge Engineer, which is not a good card. Like, you want to have. The actual poor presence too. Looks like a Malago stack. So probably no value features in this stack then. 
Vandal makes sense. And, uh, and Malagos as well. But he hasn't played about two so I'm assuming he doesn't have it. Man, I, wanna, I just want to kill this 1 1 so badly with a good trade, but. I make the, half the kill gadgets, and I'm not going to consecrate still. Wait a minute, I might consider consecrating here because I still have a Twilight Summoner for 4 mana, and I, I think I've pretty much narrowed down that he's a Malagos deck, which means consecrate shouldn't be that important to keep. The battle! I haven't made out any mulches yet either for my Tyrion, uh, for my Ragnaros. And if this Ragnaros was like a Tyrion instead, like if I had the Tyrion in my hand at the beginning of my turn, I might have just done the other play. Oh wait, I could have done that anyways, huh? Hmm. Because I, I just traded into the Gadgetzan and then drew first. I could just trade everything and played Tyrion. I would have lost this. He would have had a 1-1 one -one against Tyrion. Not sure. Actually, this seems still fine. Have, leave a 1-1 one, one against Tyrion's Divine Shield is, isn't that good. I'm so cold. Bear back. Okay, this is such a weird turn because we want to play 8 drop here so we can play Kings uh, and Sylvanas next turn. And Kings is so good here though, I can Kings the Argus. Actually I would Kings this. Because if I King it's Argus I would still trade here just to suicide it so I get a 5-5. Five, five. But I can just... this is that... wait 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 wait, no 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 no, I thought this is a 2-2 two, two, or 1-2. I was thinking I could leave up a 6-1 which would be good. Uh, he has to kill it anyways but... Let's, let's do this. Alright, I'm gonna get Jack here real quick. Pretty aggressive, I could die here, but it's like pretty hard to play around so honest right now uh, for him. If I swing with my weapon into any of his minions, it's like super easy for him to play into so honest. Got some nice tension here. Acolyte is like, don't care about him that much. Just cycle him. He didn't actually mill any cards with Doom. Like, he didn't get any of the infest stuff. Mistake. Let's play this as a control game, I think. Because he's almost out of stuff. Let me... I need to play around um, Mirror. Justice. 
I think I'd rather have this guy than abusive here because it's just stickier. Like this guy's likely in mulch, so if I have a 2-1 it could die to hero power and I need a king's target, abusive target. I just start hitting him in the face because uh, I can still threaten lethal. I don't think I have the time to just start trading with everything with Ash Green. He's already in fatigue. Taking one, then two. Very well might be able to kill him next turn by swinging here. He has Malagos, but no Innervates. Both Moonfire is used. So as far as like non-Raven Owl cards, he has like Malagos, one Living Roots. I don't think he has Swipe, but can't combo with Malagos. Hmm. Oh, that's likely gonna kill me next turn. Even if we heal, let's say we heal to 17, he has 16 with the giants. He's taking what, one point of fatigue? He's taking two points of fatigue. Seven. I can do seven here, he's twelve. I can't kill him. I just need to try to get something here. I don't I don't think I have anything though. It's not like I have any taunts. The only time I have is Tyrion in my deck. For justice. But yeah, if I could stick something, like I said, even if that guy was alive, could kill my kings and abusive. <laughs> Person used to be more tactical like this a lot. Nowadays, it's more about Yogg. I must protect the one. I will fight with honor. Like I was saying, I think we want to develop like proactive minions against Druid, just like stuff we can curve out with. Me, I might keep Acolyte. Actually, I can even keep Argus. Two sticky minions. Assuming Druid is mostly ramping early. If he plays Living Roots, fight me. It's like not like Dragon Egg and Acolyte Earth's weak to Living Roots. Do you play Wild? Not so addicted these days. I haven't really played Wild that much. I play. I used to play Wild a lot more. Uh, the so there was like a tournament right when uh, right when the rotations came. Went to Korea and played a Wild tournament. But ever since that, I haven't really tried it too much. What? Wait, this is legend? That can't be the right play. You didn't even think about it, just like instantly just... <laughs> he has three mana, not four here. If he had Four mana I can consider egg. Wait, actually that wouldn't even do anything. I was gonna say something to try to do five damage to kill uh Violet Teacher or Fandral, but Egg doesn't have any power. So it's not like Egg plus Kings or Trucer would be able to deal with them. Alright, I know you got from Raven Idol. I don't think he's a military. Even if he's a military, it doesn't look good. I was thinking about playing Egg so I can have some left over for Swipe, but that's not true. Because he can just Swipe Egg and Hero Power, he has 6 mana. So I won't have anything left over against Swipe anyways. Because it is nice to have something left over for Kings and... Yeah, mostly Kings. This is kind of sticky enough to hopefully have something left over. I have five mana next turn. I think I like keeping abusive because I can. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't think he'll clear my board here. I am ready to learn. I can kings and abusive, or you know, Tristor and abusive.
Looks like I don't really have an abusive target. We could go for some weird play where we hold the mana of a teacher and then abusive in to have a 3 4 on board. But if we kings, we have a um, 5 2 on board, which is worse than a 3 4. I think this is more valuable though to have the old man. Let's go and play that abusive out. At this point, we are not going to have anything to stick over for next turn, and we have lots of cards over him. He went all in on that play <laughs> to mulch my guy to try to keep his founder alive against True Silver. Alright, good thing we saved the paper. Thought he would have more value late game against Fruit. Like the way he, he is playing, it's more indicative of a ramp Druid than a token Druid because he's playing so inefficiently, and token Druid relies on. More combos. You can kind of play really inefficiently if you're more relying on ramp, like individual strong cards like Ancient War and Ragnaros and stuff. I guess he is a token druid, the high played by a teacher. He could still run like token druid with more big minions, I guess. No tier net, probably at the rag here. Trade with one of the 8 8s. He has already used mulch, but. Oh, another one. Let's hope I can get this trade and then just consecrate for some of the damage. Attack, attack, Brewmaster, play him. That's six mana, one, two, but then I can't play Argus. What can I Argus here? Move quickly. This document looks legally right. My seal for Argus. For justice. Not in my for justice. Ah. I think I like this because he has to kill it to get through. Um, and then it ca this has a 5 5 to trade for next turn. I can trade for Arcane Giant, kill the Vat Teacher, and then heal myself. Uh, I would be at. Take three plus eight. He needs three more damage to kill me, two more damage to kill me even. I have some old man move here too, with Brewmaster on my Argus. Oh, but I can't kill it before like I can't trade in and then Argus because he'll be dead. I guess I'm going for Ragnaros. Oh, I think I may miss by this turn. I forgot I had um, Nazoth. That should have been better. 10, 15, 10, 15, 16, plus 5, 21. I, I think Nazoth is safer, right? Because it has a taunt. The only thing it's less safe against is Mulch, but he's already used 
his mulch, he got like he's two mulches. The one, one of them is from Raven Idol, 